Clementine and the Family Meeting, Chapter 3. So the last question in Chapter 2, the parents were telling Clementine and her brother about a new baby. And what do you think about that, they asked. What I thought about that was, N-O, thanks. No thanks. I yelled it. No thanks, Parsnip echoed. Then he looked up at me. No thanks for what? No thanks to more people. Our family is four. There are four sides to a puzzle, so we can all work on it at once. Hot dogs come in packages of eight, so we can each have two. At the playground, four is an even number for the seesaws. Four can all be together in the car. Four can be two and two sometimes, and nobody is lonely. Two kids and two grown-ups, two boys and two girls. There are four sides to the kitchen table. So we each get one. Four is a perfect number for a family. While I'd been explaining all this, my brother had snuck over to the favorite to his favorite cupboard and thrown all the pots and pans out, like a personal sized tornado. He was sitting inside now, crashing lids together. I pointed to the mess in the kitchen. Look at us. Lima Bean puts toy trucks in the zitty and we use a drill gun to stir the muffins this morning because we couldn't find the mixer and my rat is missing which isn't my fault and so is my hat and maybe that is my fault but how is a baby going to help with anything that's what I want to know it's all moving too fast and we're not ready oh honey oh sorry oh honey my mom said life is always moving too fast and we're never ready that's how life is, but somehow that's just perfect. She dragged Zucchini out of the cupboard and hauled him off to get his pajamas on. Whoops, we'll have to pause it just a second.